Hey everyone, it's Peter, and I'm here with another timer mode. This time it's mode 5, which is the auto shutoff cycle. And uh, this one's probably useful for the line power timers. I don't see it really being used for the battery powered version at all uh, because it shuts off a relay. So let's go in and go ahead and set the modes. So here on mode on the mode chart, you can see mode 5 is right, right, left, right. So um, that's for uh, buttons two through five. So right, right, left, right is correct. And the top switch one that pertains to the uh, minutes, seconds, and hours, minutes. So we'll just leave that alone. So now let's uh, put it through a time cycle and see what happens. So I'm just going to start it like so. And <clears throat> immediately you see that the front button comes on and the uh, relay comes on also. Uh, in my case, it's a Christmas light, but it's probably going to be used for a pump, timer, mix or mixer. And at the end of the cycle, you see the relay went off and the top LED signaled that the cycle's over. And that top LED, by the way, could be hooked up to the buzzer if you want an announcement that the end of the cycle has been reached. So now we're going to look at the same cycle, but we're going to uh, cancel it partway through. And by the way, before we do that, though, here are the mode charts. This is what happened. Uh, we basically pushed the button, the time counted down, LED 1 started, uh, illuminated for the duration of the cycle, and the buzzer chirped, and then the relay went from open to close to open, and at the end of the cycle, LED 2 flashed. And this time, we're going to, what we're going to do is the same cycle, only we're going to depress the front button for two seconds to cancel it. So let's go ahead and do that. So the cycle started just like before. So now we decide we want to cancel it part way through. We just hold the button down. And the cycle is now canceled. And you can see the display is flashing, which tells someone coming back to the operation that, hey, it didn't run to completion, something's wrong. So you have to acknowledge it in order to reset it. And now it's reset. So. Uh, I'm just going to take you through the timing modes, uh, or setting. so now I'm just going to set the time. It's kind of like a kitchen timer. You can use the side buttons here, or I'm going to use the um, on circuit board switches, and you just press it up and then down. Actually, if I p push both of them together, uh, actually, I didn't time that right, both together, uh, it clears the display, just like a kitchen timer. And to get a number of seconds, I'm going to hold this down and then so uh, let's set it for five seconds. So now the countdown cycle will be for five seconds. One other note, and that's the relay can be changed from normally open to normally closed. If you look here, the uh, switched output is the pink output, and it's landed right now on the normally open uh, contact. If you want normally closed, then you'd land it over here, and then the relay behavior would be the opposite. So hopefully that explains it a little better, and uh, thanks for watching.